video I've been meaning to do for a while. Um, it's basically um, a tag video. Um, it's not really a tag video, it's more a question. Um, I was asked a question by uh, Region31. Um, check out his channel, he's a really, really good guy. Um, and um, I've been thinking about it for a long time. I mean, it was a really, really interesting question for me. It made me kind of think about shooting up to hell a lot. Um, and the second part of this video is basically um, it was an open tag that Suki Guruntai, um sent out, and it was yeah basically asking the question. Um, it's like yeah name that game that you love that everyone hates. Um, again, it was another kind of thought provoking question, and he didn't actually tag me, but it made me it really did make me kind of think and. Um, I'm going to do a response to that as well. So, the, the first part um, of this video will be kind of like, will be Region 3 One's question. So, I've, I've actually got it down here on my notepad. Um, my question is, could you do a video on the lack of horizontal shooters on the 360? Um, so, yeah, so, so basically he's asking, yeah, he is, he is asking the question, how come there are so many? Um, yeah, there are so many uh, so many vertical shooters, I suppose, on the on 360 rather than horizontal. Um, I, I, as I say, I've thought about this question kind of really long and hard, and um, I think basically there's, there's there's a few reasons why we're seeing all these horizontal sh uh, vertical shooters. Sorry, on the 360. Um, one, I, I suspect it's history. Um, the majority of shoot 'em ups out there are, are, are vertical shoot 'em ups. The, the the genre, if you want, kind of um, kind of evolved from from stuff like Space Invaders. Um, yeah, Space Invaders, Gallagher, stuff like that. So um, I, I, I think there are probably far more vertical shoots out there than uh, horizontal ones. Now, at one point, horizontal uh, sorry vertical shooters. Um, were were superseded for a while by uh, by horizontal shooters. Um, I'm thinking kind of like in the 16-bit era when you used to see all those Mega Drive shoot 'em ups and you used to see all the um, Amiga ones as well. There were, there were on both systems there were there were a lot of horizontal shooters, um, and I think it was quite a unique time for for shooters because there were kind of clones of clones. The Japanese market was going was going mad as well about. Um, about shooters and they seem to be very very popular. I mean, you can look at the Thunder Force series for being part of that reason. Um, but the yeah, there was that boom in the market um, with the 16-bit era. But, but generally, I still think kind of before and after there have been more kind of vertical shooters released because I, I think of companies like uh, Tower Plan, uh, Cave. To a, to a certain res you know, respect, they specialised in um, shooters. Um, uh, sorry, for, uh, vertical shooters. Um, so I think, uh, yeah, I, I, I do think, you know, it was a very, very select time when you saw more kind of horizontal shooters and verts. Um, so yeah, the sheer number of, 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 of vertical shooters out there. Probably means that there's more chance of a, of a 360 shooter being, yeah, being a vertical shooter. I also think that the companies that you know were very kind of like active in making um, shoot 'em ups, uh, yeah, horizontal shoot 'em ups aren't around anymore or are not producing. Um, I mentioned Technosoft earlier, their series. Absolutely epic series. Um, the company is no more. It's 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 alive on paper. Um, IRM uh, don't do sh don't do shoot 'em ups anymore. Basically, I know there's there's rumours it's going to be a new R type game. Um, that, you know, keep surfacing. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking company like Konami as well. They 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 primarily make uh, horizontal shooters. We saw Gradius Rebirth last year. Automedius. You know, they don't make as many uh, as vertical shooters, sorry, horizontal shooters as they used to do. They're not, they're not particularly active. Um, 
whereas um, companies that still are making shoot 'em ups, it's a niche market um, on the 360, are you know companies like Milestone, Cave, their back catalogue is primarily uh, vertical shooters. So um, I mean that's a, that's a huge reason why we're just not we're not seeing them on the 360 to be honest. Um, it's interesting the Xbox on Xbox Live you, you do see quite a few you know um you do see quite a few um horizontal horizontal shooters but uh, again at retail they're they're all verts the last yeah the last g re the last sorry standard shoot 'em up that uh, g rev released was um yeah it was a it was a vertical shooter. It was Mamaru. So, uh, the, I, I, again, the, it, it's down to the companies that are making the games. Um, let me just have a look at, at what else. Um, yeah. So I, th I think it's probably those 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 kind of factors that yeah that mean that the market has changed. It, uh, invariably, so um, unfortunately, mate, we don't see them as often <laughs> as as we should do. Because I, uh, again, I I love I prefer horries to verts, to be honest. Um, but I think that's why we don't see them. Um, I don't know what you think, mate. I'd be interested, to, you know, to to hear what you what you've got to say. Um, sorry, that was quite waffly, to be honest. But I'm just <laughs> I'm on a chain of thought. Um, uh, second part of the video, I want to, yeah, as I say, have a look at that uh, the, the, that tag that Suki Guruntai put out there. Now, again, this one made me kind of think about my collection, and uh, I've, I've, I've chosen a game here that um, critically was absolutely panned. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll show you it. It's um, there we go. Altered Beast, Guardian of Realms. Um, Really, really not a fan of the original and based, and um, I picked this one up because it was very, very cheap. It's a US copy, um, but I, I, I really, really I've enjoyed playing this. Um, yeah, it, it's good. I mean, in Suki Gunsai's original tag, he put he picked Akraza too, and I can see what he's saying <laughs> in that game. Again, critically didn't do very well, hard as old boots, but. It's a good game. I mean, I think it got panned for kind of not getting rid of the god aspects of the game and just making it into like a, a scrolling fighting game. With this, I, you know, there's there's loads and loads of different um, animals to transform into. It kind of expanded everything that was kind of lacking in the original. Um, I mean, to be honest, it's fairly formulaic. Your character's got different special moves. Uh, but fundamentally those levels are the same um, and the enemies are kind of like they use that old trick of kind of like um, having the same enemies but with different colours <laughs> but they're harder apparently but I mean it's got it's got RPG elements in it um, where you know you you come to like uh, doors when you actually choose your levels and you know it's branching almost um, but yeah, there's something about it that's just great. I wouldn't ever recommend it to anyone um, because you probably <laughs> you probably think I was I was mad. But you know, if you see it cheap, you know, some something to think about. I've, I've I've spent far more time on this than I should have spent, but there's something about it that I really really find endearing. So yeah, that that's that that's my choice, mate. There, mate. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know if you've ever played it. Tell us what you think. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the end of this video. Um, yeah, and I will. Um, yeah, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.